put a balloon inside an artery and we take up balloons at high pressures, we're, impl we're imparting energy onto lesions or onto stents. The laser's doing no difference, and we're just using that energy to be able to optimize our stent results. So my experience with the laser is largely in stent under expansion. That's generally where I use it most, where I'm dealing with poorly prepared vessels that were previously stented and now have severe instant restenosis. So what we will do is, is high energy laser at the site of under expansion to really try to create calcium crack and calcium fissure and allow ourselves to totally expand the under expanded segment of stents. Another really good place to use laser is in severe clot burden and acute coronary syndromes where laser will effectively obliterate clot and does a great deal to mitigate the no reflow problems that we can see sometimes in our acute coronary syndromes that are affected by heavy thrombotic burden. Ultimately, the device is just like any other device, be it IVUS, a balloon, a stent, or a wire. It's understanding the basic principle of imparting energy onto vessels, understanding how to deliver it, and understanding that from a safety perspective, it's probably the easiest atherectomy plaque modification device out there.